I'm back with another video, and this video is about T.I. and a concert to Hip Hop DX. T.I. sets the record straight on Hyman checking. Gino visit with his daughter. Gino visit with his daughter. So, according to the article, T.I. and Tamika Tiny Harris recently stopped by Jada Pickett Smith Red Table Talk podcast to discuss the controversial comments Tip made about his 18 year old daughter, Deja Harris. Earlier this month, he revealed he accompanies Deja to gynecologist to check her hymen causing the immediate firestorm of criticism. During the episode, Pinkett Smith got straight to business and confronted Tip about the admission. Now, did she say this? Or he said this? I guess Tip says this. I came to clear up any misconceptions that have been surrounding how we interact and parents and what is appropriate and inappropriate. He says, I think all the surrounding, all this surrounds a conversation that I was having in a very joking manner when asked, how do I deal with parenting in this day and age? I will say from what I sense, I sense he was joking. We took it literal because that's what we do. But, he says he answered a question in a joking manner. Men have forever been saying, yeah, come around, I got a shotgun, or, or, uh, or I got a chastity. Men been saying that forever. T.I. just said the same thing in a different way. I go to the gynecologist, and my daughter's hymen is in place. Now, that's just what I think about that. And so I just began from a place of truth. And I began to embellish and exaggerate, which I believe be embellish and exaggerate. That's why we so sillily took him serious. But then again, when a man says, I, when you come to the door, say, well, I got a gun, or this is this for you, these young boys take it seriously. But this is just T.I. saying the same thing, just from a more intimate personal with his daughter. Now, I think that a lot of people kind of like took it extremely literal. If you put any of my reputation who I am as a father and who I've been, I honestly thought people knew me better than that. I didn't comment on this when it first come out. Think like um, Layla Lynn says, she waited. I waited too. And this is my literally standing there to make sure her hymen, I didn't believe that. But you got people in this world today that will literally believe anything. Tip confessed at the time he didn't understand the sensitivity surrounding the issue, but does now, however, he still believed people jumped to their own conclusions, which I believe they did. My intentions have been terribly misconstrued and misconceived, he continued. And I kind of agree with that. Never said I was in 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 an exam room. He didn't. That is an assumption. That is a falsity. Never said it was being done present day as an 18-year-old. I never said her mother wasn't present. Her mom was present every time. Of course they were present. I can't imagine having my dad in there at the doctor check me to make sure my hymen is intact. 
When the doctor checked my daughter, when this guy lied on her and said he had relations with her because they were somewhere alone, and he just lied to the whole neighborhood. And she, uh, uh, she was like, what, 16, mm, 14? He just lied. So, and because my brother was like, oh, you're a damn dude, that just pisses me off. So, I said, I, so when I, I said, well, you sure you didn't do nothing? She said, no, I didn't do nothing, Mom. I said, she said, okay, if I take you to the doctor and get, take you che- get you checked, is the doctor going to say that? And you're take? He said, yeah, take me. I took her to the doctor, had her checked. I wasn't in the room. And the doctor came and I asked the doctor, was a hymen in check? He said, yes. It's in check, and she did not have intercourse. She did not have sex. I said, okay, that was that. And that's there, and my brother keeps throwing it over. You know what I said? I said, he said, I said, the boy's a liar. He said, how you know was you there? No, it didn't go down like that. My oldest sister, who house it was supposed to have happened at, he was talking about it. Like, I don't know why men do that. Anyway, especially uncles. <laughs> do that. So my sister said, well, um, Bobby says, that's my nickname, Bobby says that they did, she did not help, that he is lying and he didn't do anything with her. And she said, how she know, was she there? She said she took her to the doctor and had it verified. And then my sister come and told me the conversation. So when I saw my brother, I look at him like, yeah, now nah, well, you don't be lying on my child. He just look at me, tell me, yeah, that what he say, you know, and I don't care about none of that. So when he heard that, he went back out there with the boy steady put my daughter's name out there. And you know what my brother said, boy, you lying. He said, he lying. He ain't touched that girl that my brother tell him. He said, how you know? She said, because her mama took me to the doctor, and the doctor said, <laughs> She was intact. Shut that down, cause I don't play. My reputation, see, my reputation never got ruined like that, even though they tried it. But I'm the kind of person. You go out there and ruin my reputation and lie on me. There are consequences. There are consequences to be paid. Because I'm coming for you, and then I send my daddy at you. So. And I made sure. Put that back, baby girl. So you're not going to lie on my daughter. But anyway. With this thing right here with Tiny. So. That's why he said. Uh, he said. Uh, he said that his mother was. First, I don't know if it was in the actual room. As the doctor was doing the test. Because I wasn't in there when the doctor did the actual test. Whatever. But I was there. Now. Tiny weighed in. She was 15, 16 years old at the time. Most fathers don't go. Exactly because my daughter's father, we were married at the time, didn't go. But he was just present. Exactly, he was just present. Now, and he didn't make the doctor's appointment. And he didn't make the doctor's appointment. Now, so Tiny weighed in. So, I wasn't in the actual room while he did the testing, but I was present, and the doctor came out and let me know. If it's just how things go, I don't, I can't imagine a mom in there looking at a doctor put that thing up the child. I, I don't see that. And she did have problems with me talking about it, T.I. said. However, and I understand that he said, I'm incredibly apologetic to her for that. Every time these men say these things about their daughter where well, I got a gun, or it gonna be this, or be that, or whatever. It's always embarrassing to the girl, and she don't want men talking about it and all of that. So, anyway, I was incredibly apologetic, he said. I read that. Looks at the camera. To you, sweet baby Deja. And look at the thing. My daughter's name is Deja. His daughter's name is Deja. But you know what? Her friends, classmates, call her Deja instead of Deja. So, mm-hmm. now, not to these other strangers, any of these weirdos who toss lies around for fun. I agree with that. 
These people are crazy. She understood my intentions, and she knows who I am, and she knows who I've always been. That allows a certain level of understanding. T.I. made his original comments during a conversation with the Ladies Like Us podcast, which is co-hosted by Miguel's wife, Nazani and Mandy, in the wake of the public outcry that particular episode has been deleted, as should be. Stop, baby girl. What are you doing? Stop before you break. Okay. You always miss me something on my TV. I think that's it for the article. So that's my point of view. I I think I, I think T.I. was just joking. The thing is, he was there a couple of times when she was teenagers before 18 to make sure that her hymen was in place. And that's because he want to know for certainly that his daughter was a shell hymen is in place. Now, he believes it's in place now. Because I think if she is out there doing anything like that, I think she will let her daddy know. I think. But anyway, that's it for this video, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.